Welcome now. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. You have a gift. A dispatch rider dropped the gift earlier for you to dinner. Fetch it. Okay, ma'am. It was delivered earlier. What is wrong with this man? Is he daft or something? I have told him that I am not interested in whatever he has to offer. Mildred! Mildred! Ma? Yes, ma'am. Who did you say sent this? A dispatch rider. I received it because it was addressed to you. The name of the sender is boldly written here. Why did you receive it? I'm sorry, ma'am. You were sorry? Mildred! If you want to retain your job as my housekeeper, then you must sit up. The next time you pick up a parcel that I do not need, consider your job done. I'm sorry, ma. Get out. Pick, 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 pick that, pick that nonsense. I need no love, no more. I just want to live and have my peace. It seems like this love of a thing is not for me. Yeah, just want to stay on my let no bother nobody, nobody bother me. I want no love. I want no. You're making me uncomfortable. From the way you sounded over the phone. And the way you're looking at me now, what is the problem? Are you not supposed to be monitoring the site? Are you not? I mean, as the admin, what is your major job? Is it not to monitor the site? I'm so sorry. I have issues with my laptop. <laughs> you know, you are speaking to me now and I am realizing that you haven't even attempted logging into the website today. I will do that immediately. The site has been hacked. And I need you to do something about it immediately. Okay, ma. I'll do something about it. I see that you are. You are tired already. Would you want me to employ more hands? No. Get to work immediately. Okay. Get out. She is dangerous. Hey, living a fake life. She don't even care because she's so dangerous. This lady is so mean. And she don't even care, she is dangerous, so dangerous. Like a wolf, she goes dangerous. She's a dangerous scammer, and she don't even want to change the lady. People lose their money every day. And she's getting rich every day. Why does come victims keep on crying? She can do anything for the money. Maybe she's Who the hell are you? Um I just want us to talk. Oh, it's you. Why the hell have you been following me around town? Like I said, I want us to talk. Talk about what exactly? You know I have a soft spot for you. So I want to be the one to be taken good care of you. Did I hear you say, take good care of me or sleep with me? You know, I have what it takes to get to any woman of my choice. If it was about sex, 
I wouldn't be standing here wasting my time. Wow. Interesting. Well, let me bust your bubble. Lady Vanya does not war with men of your caliber. I am a business magnet. I don't war with men like you. Listen. I don't have time for men who have nothing to do other than trail women around town looking for who to use as an experiment. I... If you do not stop following me around, I will not hesitate to dump you at the nearest police checkpoint. And then you can explain yourself as to why you have been trailing me. Listen. Hey, I will get in my car now. And by the time I look through my rear mirror, I don't want to see a shadow like yours. Onye Gogina, boy, your bless man. If this girl know the kind of money that I have, she will know that it is a privilege to meet root of money. Yeah, I will see go one on one. I will get you. Lady Vanya, when I got your call saying you're at my neighborhood, I was surprised. What are you doing here? You know, the other day you talked about some local restaurant that makes local deli cases. Yeah, yeah. So today I want to eat local. Wait, Lady Vanya wants to do local today, right? Yes. Do you know that I and my boyfriend went to that spot three days ago? Do you know that he ate and he ordered for a takeaway? You have been talking about this, but you go like, ah, you and guys. <laughs> Amanda, who is this new guy? Hold on. Let me show you my boyfriend. <laughs> mm. Okay, see, my boyfriend. Cute, right? <laughs> This Ekwensu sister of mine knows that I don't like this car. She will always, always leave it here and live with the one I like. She wants to be frustrating me. But she is the one I am going to frustrate. To carry this out to four. In fact, I'm going to drive her out here and I'm not going to lock this gate. I'll leave this gate open. Lady Shaw has a way of bringing out the beast in someone. What is this? I mean, what kind of human being packs like this? What nonsense? Can you beat that? Hi. You know, not only does your presence irritate human beings, I don't even know what else to tell you. You did not just show your ugly face in that boutique. But you also insisted on buying what I already planned to buy. And now, 
You're blocking my car like this? Hey, 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 Doris. Or whatever your name is, I don't care. But listen to me. Next time when you want to talk, learn how to talk politely, okay? That's okay. Allow me to give her an answer that is befitting for her. You see, you, my darling, are a clear definition of pain and sorrow. And unfortunately, I am not in any way responsible for that pain that you feel. At this age and time, you do not have a man to call your own, not even a toy boy. That, my darling, is enough pain to be in. You know, I'm a nice person, but watch your oh, mouth. Oh, shut up. Let me finish. You see, from what I gathered, your father, I mean, your deadbeat of a father, up until he completed his miserable life on earth, was never able to buy a motorcycle. <laughs> So you see, you should be grateful that a car like this is packed close to this jump Oh, no, don't you touch in your miserable life. Don't you ever think of raising your filthy hands again. I am Lady Vani. I call the shot. Don't you dare make me start with you in this town. Let's go. I will so deal with you. Trust me. I do not rant. I bite. I do not rant. I bite. She is dangerous. Hey, living a fake life. She don't even care because she's so dangerous. This lady is so mean. And that needs karma And she no even care She is dangerous So dangerous Ready for me, you have a call I have, have a call? Yeah. She dangerous She's a dangerous karma And she don't even want to change The lady Vanny Hello? Yes? What? Police station? What are you saying? No, I'm not aware he took my car out. You know what? Torture him very well. Yes, officer. Thank you very much for this information. Please, what, um, what station is it so I can call your DPO? All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Lady Vanya, what is it? Can you imagine? My brother took my car out and then tried to sell it without the document and then the police caught up on him. Sell your car? Exactly. Lady Vanya, please, can you do me a favor? What? Can you just allow him to stay there for a day or two? At least let them torture him. I've already told them to torture him and I trust they will beat the hell out of him, but I can't let him stay there because he's my brother. This is too much now. I know. The next thing you hear him say, I am Mr. Mississippi. Mr. Mississippi, that can't even do anything with his life. Do you think I'm sincerely not tired of him? <sighs> I am tired of him. I mean, who does that? This is too much. Sell your car. <sighs> oh, belly. Hey, hey. Such gods. <laughs> there is nothing that boy will not do to me. You're sincerely a nice person. I don't know. <laughs> No, sir. Just listen. Those guys are just looking for my trouble. Come. What is their business with my business? No, no, tell me. Do you know you're very stupid? Let me ask you, what were you planning to do? Sell my car. Do you know how much that car is worth? Biko, 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 please. I don't have time for all this nonsense. Ah. Uh, come. You have, you have succeeded the bit? You have succeeded the bit? Fine. You already told those useless policemen to beat me up. They have, they, 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 they have done your wish. 
No problem. It is only when they see armless men like me that they will get energy. Biko, 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 biko. Just be on your lane. I want to go in and rest. Yeah, see, come on, stand here. You're not going anywhere. Are you stupid? Are you stu How many stupid are you? What is the color of your stupidity? There's no peace for the wicked. You're not going. It is my house. You will not go into this house and you will not rest. You are not resting. It is your house. It is my house. <laughs> you are looking for my trouble. Let me tell you, if you push me too hard, if you try to push me too hard, V. What is V? What is V? You are not Mr. Obegeli? Obegeli, you push him too hard. I'll forget that you are my sister and I'm going to deal. You're a madman. I think you are a mad, you are a madman. Let me push you into the ground now. You are stupid. So if those policemen did not intercept you with my vehicle, you would have sold my car. You are a thief. Onyori, Tibu. Onyori, Onyori. I know where I'm leaving you. You want me to scatter this, this nonsense so that you say I, I broke your flower pot? Mahapoge, because if I, if I descend on you the way I am right now. If you talk nonsense again, I will pluck out your eyes. My friend, remove this, you are tiger nonsense. You think I'm afraid of this? Mbo, mbo, I will see, uh, see, don't try me, oh. Don't try that nonsense in my house, v, v. I will beat you more than what the policeman did to you. Leave it! Nonsense. Leave it to me! Leave it to me! Leave it to me! Honestly, I will not beat about the bush with you on this. You see that lady Vanya? I will so deal with that lady, eh? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A sane human under no circumstances should go into war with a lady such as Vanya. <laughs> if you want her to know your worth, stay away from her. Oh, but that was too much. I mean, who does she think she is? Eh? That was just too much. Baby girl, it's okay. I understand. Ah, it's okay. What's rubbish? Where is the waiter? She got it. It's so okay. She saves. It's all right. The young man working out has already paid for you, ma. Which wow. young man? <gasps> that must be your Mr. Lincoln. It's not funny. Excuse me. Ha ha, babe. Allow the young man breathe. <gasps> Thank you, Mr. Lincoln. Kindly <laughs> open up the email and do exactly what I asked you to do. And as soon as you don't, just let me know, and I'll take it. I'll take it from there. Yes, I'll call you shortly. Hi, darling. Um, I, I wanted to say hi to you and your friend in there, but um, I was afraid you were going to embarrass me. And you'll be embarrassed since you sworn not to let me be. Listen. I am so sorry, but I can't. Listen, I, I have a very strong feeling for you and... Uh, what is this? That is enough to pay for what I ate in there. I did not beg you to pick up my bills. I mean, why do you have to show the world that you know me? What exactly is your problem? What is the color of your problem? The next time you do this nonsense, you will not like me. Oh, Adrian. please. Adrian. I just want to live and have my peace. It seems like this love of a thief is not Adrian, take it easy. You're driving too fast. You know the rate at which you drive. I think I actually have to stop going out with you, honestly. How do you mean? What do you mean by how do I mean? Babe, you're becoming too temperamental for me these days. I mean, it's not like you have a driver. I am not going to listen to what you have to say. You, you know me too well. You of all people should know that I do not need too much of staff. Look, if I need a driver, I will employ one. Babe, you need a driver. You do need a driver. I mean, look at the pace at which you are driving. You need a driver so that whenever you are in the state, he will drive you. Anyways, my darling, if I am to tell you the truth, I really do not see anything wrong in what that man did. Mm -hmm. You're not going to see anything wrong with what he did. I know. <laughs> I dislike it when a man feels he can get his way with me because he has money to throw around. I mean, it's high time men erase the fact that all women should be under them 
and ask for every little penny to survive. No, women have grown past that. I mean, women are women of class and substance are doing great even these men these men are looking up to these women hmm. yes <laughs> hey my friend my friend what babe i never knew you were a professor of women advocates oh yeah hmm. <laughs> oh my god honestly i am impressed you are impressed yes but to tell you the truth yeah I know this is not about it because I know that Lincoln has never displayed any form of ego. Mm -mm. All he's been trying to do is just to please you and nothing more. I don't care. Babes, I don't care. I, I, I don't care. Like seriously? Yeah, I don't care. I don't want to be impressed. <laughs> I don't care. Okay, don't... okay, okay. Can you just take it easy? I just Please. want to leave and have my base. It seems like this love of a it's not for me, yeah. Just want to stay a man and know But that nobody, nobody bother me I want no love, I want nobody Don't take me there, this love thing sucks I want no love, I want nobody Don't sing songs of love to me I cannot find why are you staring at me like that? You are not fine, my friend. You know, your experience in bad marriage has made you hate men and punish the innocent ones. But love, they say, heals the wound of love. If you know what I went through, in marriage and you love me so much you will advise me never to ever get married again oh come on my darling all men cannot be like your ex what was my crime my only crime was that i loved this man so much I literally lived every minute pleasing this man. What did I get? Hmm? Okay, uh, <clears throat> you know what, my dear friend? Let's not talk about the past, okay? Let's think of the future. You know, when I think about everything I went through breaks me. I didn't do it right. It's all right, I promise you the next time I'm going to blow full cylinder. My bassy, you may find it difficult to even stand. You know, I'm a warrior when it comes to doing that. Really? <laughs> You can say that again. You can't say that again. It's just fun, though. Just trying to put things together and we'll meet again, okay? Hmm. It's all good. Babe. Right, no, I always... Babe. Please. Let me call you back. Did you see my phone? I've been looking for my phone. Are you with it? Are you with my phone? money from my account. What kind of dumb question is that? But I told you I needed money. Why are you asking me what I need the money for? Am I a child? 350,000. Ah, oh, no, now it's wrong now. Ah, you know I'm in my third trimester. I need money. You stopped me from working or doing any, any business. And yet you're collecting money from my account. You know I don't have money. I don't have any money. And these people will soon be out. Eh, it's not fair now. What sagacity. Adrian, what impetus. You want me to sit here and listen to the bald dash coming from your mouth? Listen. 
I stopped you from working was for a reason, which is the safety of my child. If that is not comfortable with you, you have a choice. You can sit and listen to the powder that you're telling me. How dare you? How dare you? I collected money. Rubbish. Rubbish! offended you. All, all I'm saying is that you should support me with a little way you can. Your business is doing very well. And you know that I am not working. You've stopped me from doing anything. The little money I have, when you come and ask me for money, you don't return it. So I'm just saying that you should please just if you can be helping us with your money, I don't have enough and the baby will soon be out. That's what I'm asking. Adrian, I should support you. Yes. Adrian, I want you to understand something. Everything you own belongs to me. It's vice versa. You're my wife, and as such, you're my property. I mean, my investment, my belonging. I don't know why you just, I mean, you're creating something out of all this. For God's sake, if you don't want me to sleep in peace, I can as well excuse the room for you. No, that's not I need some, I need some rest. Forget it. Won't I have peace? It's the that. house, eat the bed, okay? Excuse me. About yesterday, I've told you that I am sorry. Please, forgive me. Okay? Please. Um, since you're not having breakfast, let me pack up your lunch. Adrian. Yeah? I don't care whether you mean it or you don't. That's your funeral. Please. As you can see, I'm late for a meeting. What about the food? Let me pack up your lunch, like I said. I'll get something better when I go out. Thank you for the food. Mm. My dear, sometimes love can make us blind to the point that we make decisions that are not right or wise. You love a maker so much. So much that he knows everything about you. He knows about your bank account. He knows about your business channels. In fact, you worship him. He knows your code and everything. Auntie, what do you expect me to do? He's my husband. There's nothing I can do. I understand, but, but then, doing all of these things will not make him see your wife. Yes! The truth is, 
Some men cannot handle the fact that their wives are doing bigger than them in terms of their career. Yes. Just look at you. Look at how tattered and haggard you look. Just look at you. See how he has reduced you. See what he has reduced you to. For crying out loud. He made you resign from your job. Your good job for that matter. He closed down your business. And the little change in your bank account. He withdrew them. For change. how long are you going to continue like this? He will change. Oh. I believe with prayers mm. he will change. Open. Auntie, I'm tired of the emotional... The emotional touch is too much. Please help me talk to him. Please. <laughs> Please. You seem to be the only one that doesn't know that that your husband, that's me, Atrumba, doesn't have respect for anybody. See, I personally do not want to get involved with him. I don't want to have any encounter with him at all. But as it is right now, I don't have a choice. I'll just talk to him. And if he doesn't listen to me, Ocho, you know me now. I will so deal with him that even you, you'll be begging. I'm a Thank you. Thank you. My own is, you just have to be very careful. Yes, that man will kill you. <laughs> and make you he will kill you. God forbid. 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 He will kill you. <laughs> hey. Where is that idiot? Where is that non challenged rubbish? Where are you? How dare you? Are you mad? How dare you report me to your aunt? You think I care about her? Or you think I'm afraid of her? Begin to talk to me now, stop pretending. I did not report you. I only told her to talk to you, that's all. That's some nonsense. You told an outsider to talk to me? This is our affair. I own you as my wife. You do not own me! Really? You do not own me. The money you think you have today, I gave it to you. I made you who you are today. The business that you are doing, it was my connection. I built you up and instead of you doing the same, you want to destroy me. You built me. Oh. Adrian has now become God who builds people, right? Shout it out, shout it, amplify it. Let everybody hear you bought the car for me. Adrian, listen, you are beginning to take liberty for license. And mark my words, I will tame you. I will increase the hostility. In this house, Emeka, what have I done to you? Is there something I have done? If there is something I have done, if there is something I have done, please tell me and I will apologize. I am just human. I am bound to make mistakes. But please, can you stop this ill treatment? I, it's not taking a toll on me. Please. Adrian, tell that to the birds. I cannot fall in love no more. No more. I fall in love no more.
<laughs> Baby. What are you doing? I'm talking to you. Oh. Do you now follow me around? I don't understand. I'm just coming from the hospital. I didn't get any transport. That's why I'm trekking to the house. Well, as you can see, I have somewhere very important I need to go to. You can keep waiting for the car or possibly use a tricycle, I mean, the Kekena Pep. But you can drop me in the house. I mean, look at the sun, it's too much. Now that I've seen you, thank God, drop me in the Excuse house. Excuse me, Adrian. Thank which God. Did we have any plan to meet here? Is it because of the girl in your car? You're talking nonsense. Come. Not calling. Yeah, call you. Not call me. I'll run over you if you don't excuse me. See, I call you. I call you. Leave the road. Who is she? She killed you, dear. Who is she? Eh? Who is she? Open this car. Open this car. Open this car. I cannot fall in love no more. No I got that car with my money and you took it away from me. You don't even respect me as your wife. Why? Mm. Mm. You got that car from me and I do not respect you as your wife. Shout it. Shout it, loud it! So that everybody know you bought the car. Do! I make her you a wicked and a heartless person. You do not deserve me. You don't. Because mm. I didn't feast you, right? Because I didn't feast you. Listen. You are becoming recalcitrant. Adrian, you are becoming recalcitrant. Be warned. Be warned before I send you packing. I don't have time for talk. Just go in there, get me something sumptuous to eat. Thank you. Oh. Are you sure you can continue with this marriage? condition of yours. Auntie, truth be told, I'm, I'm tired. My love for my husband doesn't mean anything to him. It's quite sad. Listen, with the way that your husband is misbehaving, hmm? it's very obvious that he has eyes on other women outside. But that is still not enough reason for him to maltreat and disrespect you the way the, the way he does. Eh? What kind of thing is this? Now listen to me. If this kind of thing continues, I will get him arrested. What is wrong with him? He thinks you don't have anybody or what? Auntie, don't tell me no, no, no. That is the problem you have. Auntie, wait. Please, I don't want problems, I beg. Just let me. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Please. Oh no, Joe. Oh no, Joe. Allow me to deal with this man for once. And you're telling me, Auntie, look at you. Look at you. Just look at yourself. Look at you. Eh? You're no longer happy. Look at how tattered you look. You that used to have a smooth face, sipping all over. It is going shimbaka. And you're telling me, no, 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 because you're scared of him. Eh? You're no longer happy. How dare you? No, tell me, how dare you? On whose audacity did you change the pin? The phone you want to use is mine. The account you are targeting is mine. The pin is mine. So why are you questioning me? Why? What nerves? What nerves? Do you not have the audacity to talk back at me? That aside, I want to fix the car. <laughs> and I'll be needing some money. The car? Which car? The car that you've been using to carry your numerous girlfriends? It is my car. 
If you cannot fix it, you pack it. Oh yes! yes. After all, it is mine. Capish? You're getting on my nerves now. I will lose it! Adrian, I will lose it! Emeka, lose it! Don't allow me vent my spleen on you. Emeka! You will not like it. Do anything you want to do. Really? Yes, do anything you want to do. Hey! Really? Hey! 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 Rubbish. Change the pin? Who asked you to do that? I am the man of this house and I have every right to ask you questions. Before you do anything, you take permission from me. What audacity. And I talk to you, talk back at me. Rubbish. I cannot fall in love no more. No more. Hey, what did this to you? Hey! Somebody help me! Somebody help me! Somebody help me! Somebody help me! Somebody help! Somebody help me! Somebody help me! 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 I need no love, no more I just want to live and have my peace It seems like this love of a thing is not for me I just thank God eh? See, you're about to cry again We're not here for you to cry We're here for you to pack your things and let's leave here immediately because I'm among you, the next thing I see tears, it's already falling. So this is how I'm going to leave my marriage. After everything I invested in, my time, my love, my money, my emotions, my heart, my soul, everything. So that this is it. This is the end. Mm. This is it. I understand how you feel, okay? But trust me, this man doesn't love you. You don't deserve him. Or he doesn't deserve you, rather. Eh? Look at you. You've lost your pregnancy already. And if you ask me, staying here is dangerous. He will kill you. Okay, bukwage. He will kill you. He will kill. I've asked you before. He load, he load in our wagon boat. Let's leave this place. Thank God there's nobody here to give us trouble. Let's leave here, please. I have accepted my faith. Good. Uh -uh. It's better. Who can go for one? Stand up, stand up. Let's go. Before, before he, the, 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 the fool comes in now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Have your things. Let's go. Uh, you want him to meet us here? Forget all this. Scene. Your life is more important to me. Let's go. Everything happens to you now. You know everything will be on my head. Let's go, forget him. Don't worry, go provide another one. Emeka, I am ashamed of you right now. You mean your wife is in the hospital and all you could do is bring another woman to your matrimonial bed? Oh, no wonder you lack courtesy of checking up on her at the hospital. And you? <laughs> Happy to you. You know, ordinarily I will cry for you, but not anymore. I am leaving you for good. You can have everything, but I do not want to see your ugly face around me. I pity for you. I'm happy you said you're done with the marriage. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Please, pack everything that belongs to you and leave. I don't even want to set my eyes on you anymore. Hey, you're not even going to...
going to see her face in your life again. You are not going to see because you are a he goat. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. If I am a man, And you, you think I found a man? <laughs> in a one year, Katoch and Doshi. I pity you. I pity you. He will use you and dump you. Look at the beautiful man God gave to you. You have missed her. My dear, you don't need any costing in this house. Are you listening to me? Just pick your certificate and your vital document and let's leave this place. For you, you will suffer. You will Every die. woman is not the same. Let me get, look at them. Nay, let's leave this place. Nay, pick this and let's leave it. I don't even want to see your face again. Auntie, I feel cheated. This is how men are. My dear, that your man doesn't have conscience doesn't mean other men do not have. No. Anyway, I'll speak to my lawyer first thing tomorrow morning to uh, get the divorce papers with I just want to... I I just want to leave that this marriage for good and focus on my life. My dear, you, you're going to be more happier and better without a maker. So just let him go. He doesn't deserve you. Let me even call. Let me see if I'll call to you. Thank you. You're welcome, my dear. Take <sighs> I think you should block him. Yes. Because seeing anything that has to do with him on social media, it's, it, it, it just doesn't make any sense. Do you understand? At least for your sanity. Barely two months we got divorced. Emeka is planning to get married. Men are unpredictable. My dear. I still maintain that there are nice men out there. Yeah, there are men out there that are still nice. Auntie, well, I don't care. As it is now, I just want to pick up my pieces and do something great for myself. I am done mourning the absence of a Mecca in my life. <laughs> it's his loss after all, not mine. You're right, but hmm, all I know is he must suffer. He will suffer for the rest of his life for all he did to you. Because no man in his right senses will want to lose a nice woman like you. Eh? Auntie, I want to use this medium to say thank you. Thank you for standing by me in this trial period in my life. I don't know what I would have done without you. Thank you. I do appreciate. Thank you. It's okay. You're not supposed to be thanking me. Your mother is no more. If she was alive, what I'm doing now, she would have been the one doing it. And it's my responsibility to take care of her as my niece. So I'm only carrying out my duty. You don't need to thank me. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right? Everything will be fine. Thank Let you. him go. Forget about him. You, you don't you. need that kind of man. Vanil, I don't know why you don't want to give me a chance in your life. I promise to do anything within my power to make you happy. How does a man who doesn't even know how to call my name right know what to do to make me happy? <laughs> 